I can teach you how to be an assistant editor. I can teach you how to use an Avid. I can't teach you how to treat people. I can't teach you how not to be a because we're all too old for that. Talk to me about one of the most, if not the most profound piece of advice you got a little bit early in your career about skills versus character. Yeah. So, okay. So my, when I was in college, I was, I was, I was an intern slash post PA for an indie feature film. And that I, I used to drive from San Diego to LA without a car. So I would borrow, I would rent cars, borrow them from friends. I, I racked up a pretty big bill from that. Um, Investment but it was, was well worth it, clearly. Oh, yes, 100%. And the assistant editor for that, for that indie feature film, he told me, he was like, listen, Matt, if I have a choice between somebody who knows Avid was a total dick, unbearable to be around, and someone who knows nothing about Avid but is really fun, really excited, and really eager – I'm choosing the second person every time because I can teach you how to be an assistant editor. I can teach you how to use an Avid. I can't teach you how to treat people. I can't teach you how not to be a dick because we're all too old for that. And I mean, I, 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 21 years old, I was too old for him to do that, you know? And he even straight up said, he was like, I wouldn't have let you stayed as the post PA if you were unbearable to be around. So, and that's, that's one of those things. Like you have to like go into everything, be humble and be like, Hey, I'm here to learn. Even if you know how to do dailies, you know how to do script sync, you know how to do a sound pass, you know how to do all these temp VFX. Hey, what's the way you like it? Because when you're working with you know with a first AE or an editor, you know it's like you you, you got to be like, hey, how do you like it? And you have to. I relearn everything, every job. <laughs> you know, it's I I I I I waste so much paper writing all these notes just to literally rewrite them the next job because like okay, this is the way like they like it. And I know it's not really a waste, but I have probably written how to do dailies about five times. They're all, ba I actually just recently found, like I, I have one in the notebook that I'm using right now. And I found one from an earlier show. And I'm comparing them. Like these notes are basically the same with like a few minor editor preferences. And, but like, that's the thing is that you have to do that because you have to learn how they want it and you have to be be bright be cheerful especially as we're all remote as we're all in zoom you're not able to be there all the time so when you are on zoom and you people do see your face be the guy that smiles be the girl that you know makes a joke or like even like you know i try in most of my zoom meetings we have like a daily meeting I, I i try to always be the person it's like hey good morning everyone and everyone else's camera's off everyone else is muted usually i get one person to unmute oh good morning matt stuff like that like it, it sounds corny but stuff like that because it's you're being bright you're being cheerful and do not have an ego Whatever ego you have, check it at the door. You don't have it. You got to be humble. <laughs>